Hey guys, it's Stack here and today I've got a brand new FIFA 17 video. This video is this team you see right here on the screen and it is unbelievable. Obviously if you don't have that squad builder Muller, you don't need him, just the normal one works fine. In actually my actual preference, I do prefer the normal Muller, but as you can see I've got a catalyst on him because he doesn't score that many goals. He's more giving the through balls to Royce and Dembele. Now, when it comes to you building this team, you can turn it sort of away from the defence and the goalkeeper of this league because, to be honest, the two centre-backs I've got in this team and, the, and Farman, they're just not that reliable. I'm not enjoying the Bundesliga defence at all in this game. And I've had Boateng, Hummels, I've had Naldo, you know. I've had the informed Socrates. Just nothing works for me in this league. But these two seem to be the most reliable. But... Still, if you can convert it to uh, maybe a small in so you can stick Butland in or something like that, you might prefer it a little bit better. But the midfield is actually fairly strong. You've got Sanchez, that inform Keita, and then you've also got Castro. Castro is more of the defensive one. Keita will also come back and defend, but he's very good when it comes to setting up, getting assists. And then Sanchez is just an engine. He is everywhere on the pitch, wherever you need him. But then when it comes to the front three, these are the guys that just do everything. They just damage any opponent. So I'll start off with the striker. Obviously, I've gone for Muller only because I do. Uh, I've always loved Muller in real life, so I have to have him in the team. If you're not comfortable with him, swap him for a Bamiyang, whoever else you can afford. It doesn't really matter. He will score goals for you, but it's not the main people scoring as Royce and especially Dembele will get you other goals. If you've used Royce on this FIFA, then you'll know just how good of a player. Even on the old FIFAs, he feels pretty much the same. If you can get him in front of goal, he's, he's, he has got decent finishing for a winger. But not just that, his pace and dribbling will get you a lot of chances. But this team is all about Usmane Dembele. This 95 in form is it's ridiculous. Everything he hits is such a good shot. And on the ball... You can't tackle him. He, his dribbling, I don't care what it says, he feels better than Messi. He feels better than half the players in the game. There's only one player who I prefer for dribbling, and that's the um, team of the group stage, Mertens. But other than that, this guy is your man. He's the best right winger I have used in this game so far. He's just so good at getting the ball, just cutting inside. He can sweat, he can shoot. This guy's got everything. He definitely feels like a broken player because one of the main things about him is you can't outstrength him. When he gets on the ball, if you've got your small inner whoever trying to tackle him, if you hold the B to pull him down, you're not going to get it. His balance is insane, his agility, he's going to turn you, he'll use skill or whatever and he'll get past you. And then he's got five star weak foot as well. So he's going to keep you guessing if you're trying to defend against him because you, he can go either side, he's just amazing. Make sure you give him a go if you've got the money for him. I think he only cost about 170k when I got him, but he was worth it. But that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, please subscribe if you're new. I will be posting more FIFA videos soon.